Hi guys! In today's video we're going to take a look at cropping and how to get the most out of Photoshop for this particular kind of work. So if you have already got the Kingfisher image loaded, there are a couple of things that I want to make sure that you can also see on the interface. Make sure that your properties panel is displayed. If you can't see that, come up to window and then go down to properties and check that item. Now, to access the crop feature, come over to the toolbar on the left hand side of your screen and I want you to come down to this. Kind of looks like a picture frame with two extra little, little um, knobs sticking out there. That's the crop tool. Once you activate the, the crop tool, you'll be given these drag handles that you can move all around. Now, if you can't move that all around, let me get out of this real quick. I have to hit the, the close or cancel. If you can't move that around like I just moved it, come up here and, cl and click the clear button. It probably just means that you had something on there before that you were using, or maybe there was something somebody else had been using from the previous um, a, a previous demonstration. So hit that clear button and you should be able to drag this all around without a problem. Okay. Whenever you want to cancel it, just hit cancel. Now, if I wanted to keep my original ratio, there are a couple of ways you could do it. You know, the original ratio, talking about the original um, value of the height versus the width. So you can come over here to this drop down and choose original ratio. And now it's going to be locked. See, I can't move it fluidly like I used to. I can decrease this size where I can flip it, but I can't, like I, I couldn't turn it into a square if I wanted to. Okay, so let's hit the clear button again. That'll take you, take you back to the original ratio. Now, if for some reason you wanted to do that manually, you certainly could. Just hold down the shift key and then click and drag. It does the same thing. Once you release the shift key, then you can see that it's much more fluid. All right, let's cancel out of that again. Now come back up to the ratio drop down here. What if you wanted help, uh, help making a perfectly square image? You just choose the one to one, the square preset, and there it is. And now again, you can click and drag. You can also change where the image is. So to do that, I grabbed the image rather than the crop outline, okay? And you can just drag that wherever you want it to be. You'll notice that it has the rule of thirds lines displayed. The rule of thirds is um, one of the artistic devices that we know that helps place things in an interesting way on a canvas. For example, if I place this little bird, like maybe his eye, right at the intersection of two of these lines, that is said to be a much more interesting view. So just something to keep in mind. When you're happy with the placement of your subject, you just come up and click the check mark, but don't do that. Don't do it yet. I'm going to get out of it. Okay. So let's go play around with some other ones. Four by five. So if you needed something that's like a four by five uh, photo for your prints, you can do it here. You can do a five by seven. Now these two down here, um, especially this last one, the 16 by nine, that is a, is a preset that's very, very common in the world of video. Let's take a look at that. So if you know that you needed a cover shot to put up for one of the videos that you're making, this would be the way that you go right here. All right, I'm going to cancel out and I'm going to go back and clear this. And I'm just going to make a more interesting image. Let's see, I'm going to make it a little like that. Let's see how that does. I'm just dragging my little bird. 
Um, I think I'm going to get rid of some of this knob, so let me go this way just a little bit. And let's reposition the bird once more. And give him a little more room this way. Yeah, I think I like that. When you're completely happy, come up to the upper right hand corner and click the check mark. Make sure you do not save this over the top of your original file. So we're going to come up to File, Save As, and I'm going to call this Cropped. Yeah, I never like to overlook, uh, overwrite my original file. Bird-Cropped, and I will save that. Sometimes it's helpful but if you don't write over the original because you may be into your project and you find down the road that you really wish you had done something differently. So now you can just open up your original without worrying about having to go back and find the one out on the internet. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed getting the cropping overview. I will see you in the next video.